Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the book of Philippians. There's not too many better ways to start your day than by reading in the Bible, the New Testament, the book of Philippians. Our reading today is at Philippians chapter 2, verses 25 and 26. Let's hear the word, and then we'll think about it together. Yet I considered it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, fellow worker, and fellow soldier, but your messenger and the one who ministered to my need, since he was longing for you all and was distressed because you had heard that he was sick. So again, this is how news traveled in those days. No mail networks. Everything pretty much traveled on foot, and it was sent by personal messengers, and people would write letters, and they would come back with the person when they came back. Epaphroditus was one who was working with Paul. He calls him his brother, his fellow worker, and a soldier. I don't know if he came out of the military or if he just saw him as a soldier in Christ, but this is Epaphroditus. We don't know a lot about Epaphroditus. He kind of helped Paul when Paul was locked away for his faith. Epaphroditus was there. He was there in times of need. He became sick, and people were wondering, well, what had happened? What has happened? Because, again, there was no instant news, so well, people wondered if he died. And it was not uncommon in those days for someone to become sick and just plain die. Now the messenger gets to go back and forth and this is the last bit here we're going into in chapter 2. You know what? Epaphroditus was willing to go back and forth, willing to serve, and there were some dangers in those days. You might be robbed. You might be in a shipwreck. Uh, certainly, the early church was persecuted very much in this whole area, and, and Macedonia and through the Aegean right there. There's many cases mentioned in the book of Acts and here in the epistles. So Epaphroditus was willing to brave all that for Jesus, and you and I need to be willing to brave the very small dangers that we normally face for Jesus. And you know what? All who will live godly in Christ Jesus, we will suffer persecution. And maybe we'll see more of that now in upcoming days. What I know is that you and I need to be like Epaphroditus, serving the Lord's servants, helping them, encouraging them, and keeping the church together on the same page. You know what? I think we can do that with the help of the Lord Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we want to be like that New Testament church, dependent on people, not on technology, dependent on truth, not on marketing and PR. Lord, we just pray we'll be wise stewards of the very limited time and opportunity we have to do your work. Lord, we pray we'll be good stewards of the work we're doing in this rapidly degenerating age. Help us, Lord. Help our churches to be right. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So may the Lord help us to be faithful workers like Timothy, like Epaphroditus, like Paul, and others we'll hear about as we carry on and continue to study God's Word, and in particular right now we're studying here in the New Testament. Join me tomorrow morning as we'll carry on into the next verses. We're going to learn more, a little bit more about this Epaphroditus guy. God be with you.